Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're in downtown Mount Pleasant at Moose Pharmacy. Going to learn all about this. And this is a really cool it place is. down here. And we're going to learn all about that and a lot of other things. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that info down. Or, uh, you know, if you miss contact or something like that, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, we are at Moose Pharmacy in downtown Mount Pleasant. Uh, one of the oldest pharmacies still existing here in Cabarrus County. Great. Actually, it was the first pharmacy in Mount Pleasant established in 1882 by A.W. Moose, uh, who was the town's first pharmacist. Now, the family-owned and operated pharmacy still stands in the original building where it was established right here on the corner of Main Street and Franklin Street in downtown Mount Pleasant. Today, Moose Pharmacy also is located in um, Concord, Kannapolis, Salisbury, Midland, and Mount Pleasant. The family pharmacy keeps a strong community commitment by staying involved in providing programs and services that keep people healthy, promote better health, and provide people with the best treatment options. A recent addition to the Moose Pharmacy's Mount Pleasant location is the promotion of locally grown products by area farmers and growers. Now, the soda fountain in the back, which of course um, has been converted now, where they are now selling a lot of local food products. So you can stop by the Moose Pharmacy and uh, while you're picking up some prescriptions, maybe um, pick up some locally grown beef or pork um, with no added antibiotics or hormones. That's from Creekside Farms. They also have greenhouse tomatoes all year round. You can get your tomatoes even here in January. Oh, wow. Oh, from um, Muddy Boots Farms. Um, they have wood-fired brick oven breads from Farm Meadow Bakes um, Local Honey uh, right here from Concord. And they have some regional products as well, such as barbecue sauce um, produced in Rowan County, ice cream from Mooresville, and of course, good old s and coffee. Um, Moose Pharmacy in Mount Pleasant location is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 8.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. and they're open on Sundays from 2 until 6 p.m. For more information about uh, Moose Pharmacy, you can call the Mount Pleasant location at 704-436-9613. Now this is a really cool place. I love they, all these bottles they have and yeah. all kinds of antique things on the top. It's like really sitting there fun. just looking at all those things. Now uh, if you're one of 30 million households in the U.S. that uh, had a real live Christmas tree for that Christmas. Me. Yeah, me too. Mm. Now after the Yule uh, kind of uh, kind of goes away and it's time to tear everything down, which is kind of sad, but uh, you know, it's, it kind of goes on. I'm but, still finding little needles here. And yeah, there. yeah, I know. Just little friendly reminders. <laughs> but what you can do with that Christmas tree is it can live on and kind of help mm. the environment. So all you got to do is you can recycle. So more and more Cabarrus County residents are choosing to recycle their old trees. So just check with your town's public works or solid waste departments and you can uh, kind of pick up on the options there. Cabarrus County offers a free drop-off recycling of Christmas trees during the entire month of January. Just bring them to the recycling center located at the landfill at 4441 Irish Potato Road. Trees will be ground up into mulch to use kind of as on area landscapes. And the center is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m and 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, just call 704-920-3278 or just um, you can uh, email at uh, recycling at cabarruscounty.us or go to the web address, which is cabarruscounty.us slash waste. Well, if you're someone who likes fairies or knows someone who likes fairies or um, possibly a uh, potter working with clay might be interested in a cool little class coming up um, through the Cabarrus Arts Guild. They are going to be starting off the new year with a meeting on January 9th at the Brick Wall Gallery at uh, Concord's Gibson Mill Depot. Um, the meeting starts at 2 p.m. It's free and open to the public. Guest speaker in North Carolina native Christy Kessler who creates specially crafted fairies made out of polymer clay is going to be uh, sharing her art and explaining how she makes the fairies and what inspires her with her artwork. For more details, just visit the Cabarrus Art Guild website at cabarrusartguild.org slash slash events.html. Now, you know what you need to do? Just start off that new year, kind of get in shape and have fun doing it. Absolutely. Well, you we can do that. The Cabarrus County Senior Center is offering a variety of fitness and dance classes that are sure to Kind of get you in shape and have fun doing it and get that blood pumping now. Classes uh, offered a range. This is what is really cool is a wide range mm. here. It's ballroom dancing, lantern mix, aerobics, and even Tai Chi. 
So class schedules run from four to six weeks and they begin the first week of January. Prices vary for each of the, class, the classes and pre-registration is required. For more details, just call the Cabarrus County Senior Center uh, Concord site at 704-920-3484 or in the Mount Pleasant site at 704-436-8034. See a full list of all the classes, just go to Cabarrus County dot us slash aging well maybe one of your new year's resolutions was to learn something new this year mm -hmm. um perhaps you'd like to try basket weaving Cabarrus county senior center is um, starting up a basket weaving class um here in january it's a six-week class that begins on january 5th cost is 25 dollars per person uh, registration is required for details you can just call the senior center uh, in Mount Pleasant at 704-436-8034. Now, Amy, you don't have to travel way, way away to see exotic animals and snakes mm. and all kinds of good things. I know that I you just really... go to your house. <laughs> That's right. Go to my house and you'll see them all. Okay. No. But if you don't want to come to my house, you can go to the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center and they'll host a reptile and exotic animal show on January the 8th and 9th from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. each day. Now, ticket prices as are follows. Adults $10, children $5, two-day VIP tickets $12 online and $15 at the door. Educators are admitted free with ID. For more details, just go to Cabarrus Arena website, which is cabarrusarena.com. Or you can just call 704-920-3976. And you can see all those exotic animals. And not at my house, no, no. <laughs> okay. Well, you might want to um, pull out your pom poms because the Queen City Classic is here. Um, this is a dance competition uh, featuring a lot of uh, cheer organizations competing right here at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Um, now, if you have a daughter who perhaps um, is involved in cheerleading, you might want to stop by and, and check out some of the uh, newer techniques and um, all, the, all the special um programs that they have going on there. Tickets for adults are $10. Children ages 5 to 12 years old are $7. And children 4 and under are admitted free. For more details, just uh, check out the Cabarrus Arena website at cabarrusarena.com or you can call 704-920-3976. It's amazing to me. I mean, they throw people in the air uh, and stand uh, three and four tall. You know, it's amazing. I mean, the athletics are involved in Shirley now is amazing. Now, organizations, groups, and businesses can sign up now to be part of the Cabarrus County Senior Center Off Your Rocker Rockathon. Now, this fun event provides businesses and organizations an opportunity to kind of give back to the community and also kind of promote your business at the same time. Now, organ organizers um, will, I mean, organizations can sponsor or they can decorate a rocking chair and recruit rockers mm -hmm. to kind of help rock through the, through the, day, raise funds for the Cabarrus County Senior Center, and that goes to the trust fund. Mm -hmm. And then what that's for is to help expand programs and if, uh, needs of facilities and that sort of thing. So um, the Off the Rocker Rockathon features entertainment, auctions, food, a dinner dance, and a car show. Plus a whole lot of fun, and you're going to get a chance to just meet a lot of neat All people right. out there. So for details about sponsorship, just call the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3484, or you can just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging. And it is. It's a really fun All event, right. um, and uh, you know, to be part of that is, is a great thing. One of the things I think is really cool about the event, too, is just the variety of ages um, that oh, get yes. involved um, from the kids in the scout troops and the right. school clubs um, that are there raising money um, maybe to help their own grandparents right. um, and as well as businesses and community organizations all kind of banding together because we all have someone in our life who, who can benefit from Absolutely. the programs at Cabarrus County Senior Center so it's, it's cool to see all those groups it is together. Fun. Well if you're um, child is interested in maybe creating a colorful new piece of artwork um, that maybe doesn't involve um, Santa or snowmen. You might see a lot of those lately. <laughs> you might want to come out to Camp Spencer Park this Saturday, January 8th. They're going to have um, a fish prints workshop where um, children will get to um, paint fish artwork and make uh, colorful pieces of art. Now the Fish Prints Workshop is going to be held Saturday, January 8th at 1 p.m. at Camp Spencer Park. It's appropriate for ages 5 and up. Cost is $2 per person. To register, just log on to cabarrusky.us slash reserve partner and type the words Fish Prints in the class search box. For details, just log on to cabarrusky.us slash parks. Now if you want to learn more about snakes, 
not from far away, but just <laughs> right here in uh, North Carolina. There's an educational class uh, about snakes in Piedmont, North Carolina, and that's going to be at the Franklis Park. Now, you can look at the seasons that snakes are you know, most active in, mm -hmm. and also their habitats that they live in, which is kind of good, so you can avoid those. No, I'm just kidding. It's a good thing. That's a good there. thing, yeah. The Snake Charmer class will be held on Saturday, January the 15th, and that's at 11 a.m. Class is appropriate for ages 5 and older. Cost is $5 per person. Uh, Pre-registration required by January the 12th. To register, just log on to cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner, and uh, just type in the word in the search box, snake. Okay, details can be also gotten at cabarrascounty.us. Well, if you're looking for ways to um, fit exercise into uh, your new year, then um, make sure to include uh, a trip to one of our Cabarrus County parks. There's walking and jogging trails available at Franklin's Park, North Cabarrus Park, and Camp Spencer Park. Um, beautiful, beautiful wood trails. Those are um, great trails. All those parks. A um, wonderful place to walk. Um, these scenic trails at North Cabarrus Park and at Camp Spencer Park um, log in at just over one mile each. Or you can head over to Franklin's Park and for a shorter walk you can circle the lake which will get you right over a half a mile or um, the fitness trail also which is around a half mile or you can take the nature trial trail that goes around the perimeter of Franklin's Park um, which logs in um, right at two miles. For details on the walking trails and all the offerings at Cabarrus County Parks just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Now it's not too late to protect yourself um, you know from the flu and also um, by just getting a flu shot. Now in North Carolina the flu peaks in February or March and with all the upcoming you know travel that people have done and getting ready to do the flu shot is the best way to prevent the flu. Now the Cabarrus Health Alliance is providing flu shots daily to anyone six months of age or older at the Cabarrus County Human Services Building. That's at 1307 South Cannon Boulevard in Kannapolis. Persons may call 704-920-1205 to schedule an appointment. Now, flu shots are also offered Monday and Thursday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. and on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. The cost for the flu vaccine is $28. This year's vaccines will include protections against the H1N1 and also two seasonal flu strains. Both the flu shot and the flu mist are available. A high dose flu vaccine specifically designed for people that are over 65 years old, and that's kind of helped their immune response, is also available. Now, cost is $50 for that vaccine. Now, Cabarrus Health Alliance will file Medicare Part B, Medicaid, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Cigna, and WellPath, so bring your insurance card. For more information, just call the Cabarrus Health Alliance. That information line is 704-920-1213, or you can visit CabarrusHealth.org. Well, there are a lot of exciting changes um, coming up in the Cabarrus County Public Library mm. system um, starting this month. Um, actually, uh, this weekend, a new online catalog system is um, coming up, which is going to be available at all four branches of the Cabarrus County Public Libraries in Concord, um, Kannapolis, Harrisburg, and um, Mount Pleasant. And this is going to provide um, much more robust searches. Um, the days of the little paper card catalogs where you're kind of thumbing through looking <laughs> for your item of interest are gone. And uh, so now you will be able to um, create an electronic list of books that you've read or wish to lead. You'll be able to write user reviews. You'll be able to access selected media, which uh, could be helpful for students who are needing a current event item on a related topic. In addition, the search box um, completes search terms as you type. And while searching for a, a book on a particular topic, you will be pointed to other types of library uh, materials on that same topic. So it uh, really helps to minimize your search uh, time. Oh, really? Especially when you're you're doing extensive research, the new online library catalog can be accessed from designated computers at any branch of the Cabarrus County Library, and also from the um, Cabarrus County Public Library homepage, their website at cabarruscounty.us/library. Now, all the branches of the Cabarrus County Public Library are going to be closing at 5 p.m. on Thursday, January the 6th, for this new computer system installation. As a reminder, all library branches are closed on Friday. To be one of the first to use the new online catalog, just stop by the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library on Saturday, January the 8th, 
or you can stop by any branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library beginning Monday, January the 10th. Great. Well, um, one other thing Cabarrus County Public Library is um, introducing now is the um, Bikey Online Library Edition. This is a powerful new online language learning system designed um, specifically for patrons of public libraries. Now, Bikey, which stands for Before You Know It, is a rapid learning method that takes users through a series of simple steps to memorize words or phrases in a new language, including their meanings and proper pronunciation. Um, well, yours, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Very good. <laughs> um, in the shortest time possible. There are um, more than 70 languages available that you can learn from through this system. Um, and library patrons can access this on computers um, at any branch of Cabarrus County Public Library or um, from any computer um, in your good. home, at school, um, at your favorite Wi Fi location, um, just by logging onto the website cabarruscounty.us slash library. Uh, click on the Bikey um, online uh, language learning system and uh, select one of the 70 languages available and uh, you too can become bilingual <laughs> um, in no time. Um, for details, just log on to um, the library's website, careerscout.us slash library, um, or uh, you also can um, log on directly to library.transparent.com slash cabarrusnc slash flashcards slash login or at your nearest location of Cabarrus County Public Library. Come tell you, boo. <laughs> See, I've already started. Okay. Sure. Uh, we've, I know we've had a lot of information on today's show. So if you missed uh, writing down a contact uh, number or web address, just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us, and you can, a little A through Z search box, pretty much find everything. If you have any problems, just shoot us an email at Cabarrus County, at uh, channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. And, of course, one of the best ways to find out all the information going on in Cabarrus County each week is to sign up for our email newsletter. You can also do that online at CabarrusCon.us. Click on the Join Our Mailing List link top left of any page. Um, put in your email address and you will be set to go. Um, you'll get that newsletter um, at the beginning of each week uh, so you can plan your week ahead. also has um, a lot of times more tidbits of information about news and events in Cabarrus County uh, to keep you informed of everything that's going on. If you do receive it and enjoy that, uh, please do forward that to a friend. And if you have, uh, you know, family that doesn't have Time Warner Cable, can't get Channel 22 on their cable, well then just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. Right there on the home page, you'll see a video screen right below it. It has Channel 22 icon or a YouTube icon. You click on either one of those. You can see all the different programs we have, everything from Cabarrus This Week to the commissioner's meetings to uh, Successful Gardener, which got a new one getting ready to come on here in just the next week. And uh, all kinds of different shows and the historical moments, of course. So uh, you can kind of, you know, watch it at your leisure. And uh, I tell you, this is such a, a neat pharmacy here. It's the first time I've been in here. And I found something really interesting. They have a soda fountain back here, which I love. I love the, this old soda fountains. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing like a soda drink. And then, then they have this thing called Moose Tracks, which <laughs> I heard was really good. I think it's ice cream. It is ice cream. Okay, I think I got to <laughs> check that out. What I love too is just having the local food so readily accessible. So you know, stop by and get your local meat, right. um, and even some fresh veggies. Um, so it's a neat little place to drop in. Absolutely. And until next week, you just have a great one.